Hi, the Samsung S3 Guru here, and I haven't been uh, doing uh, any reviews for a couple of days because I've been doing a couple of different things. And one of the things I was doing was testing out um, a new launcher. Well, it's not actually a new launcher. It's been around for a while. It's called Apex Launcher. And I say I'm testing, was testing it out because I wanted to, uh, before I did this review and before I gave my two thumbs up, I wanted to check it out and see how well it worked um, when overlaid because, as you know, the Sammy S3 isn't, it's, it's running TouchWiz, which is a piece on top of that, and then this is a piece on top of that. So I wanted to see um, if we were going to have any issues. And I'm happy to report that I have not had any issues. So I can now say, all right, let's talk about uh, the Apex Launcher. So what is the Apex Launcher, and why would you use it, and why would you want it? Okay. As you know, um, your Sammy S3 has... Well, let's put it this way. You have ice cream sandwich, you have jelly bean, and then on top of that, they've added a few things and, and added a few icons and changed how some things work, and they've put an overlay on that. And that's that's a launcher. That's the TouchWiz launcher. And some people prefer other features, and that's what you get when you get the Apex launcher. So I've actually had this. Uh, I had this on my um, Motorola Zoom. And like I said, I've been uh, holding off to wait to see what they were doing with this. They did finally update this, so I can now, like I said, give it the two thumbs up. So hey, what, so what do we got? After you load it on, so you go to the store, you load it on, and after you load it on, it will, the first time you, you hit your home button, it will say, which do you want me to launch? Do you want me to launch the Apex Launcher, or do you want me to launch uh, TouchWiz? So obviously I say the Apex Launcher, and it will continue to be that way until either I clear it out, or I take it off. So what I have here is, um, first of all, I have my dock is different. And not only do, does it look different, but I actually have more than one dock. I actually can have several docks. I think I have uh, four or five here right now. And I can take an item and put that item on the dock. And so that's that right there is very nice to me because I have a lot of things. On my normal Sammy, I had a bunch of folders and I'll still do some folders here, but the, the issue that I have is, is that, you know, sometimes I just want to be able to get to those items. And by having them down here on the dock, and I can have a bunch here and go back and forth, that's very, very helpful. Second thing is, is that uh, they've actually done their folders very similar to Jelly Bean. They've gone back. As you know, in the TouchWiz, I did one specifically on doing folders. You have to go and create a folder and drag the items in. Well, once I've loaded this, I can just go ahead and drop them back on, just like we do in Jelly Bean, uh, or even Ice Cream Sandwich, for that matter. So I can just pull those back out. Okay. Uh, the other thing that uh, one of the other things that I like about this is that I can resize any widget, not just the ones that come uh, available to resize, and I can resize them any which way I want. So any widget now becomes a resizable widget. And that's good for me because I actually have a bunch of different things going on and it would be very, very helpful. It is very, very helpful to have that I can uh, move these around and overlay them and do a couple other neat things. The other thing that you probably are noticing here now as I move through these is I can change how I switch from my screens. And you can see I have right on here, I have what's called wheel. So it's like I have a big pinwheel and as I move these and they go around in a circle. So it just keeps, if I just keep going, it comes around. And I like stuff like that. I like to be able to change that, and I can go in. I'll go back to my other piece. I can go in and I can change that. Uh, let's go to home screens, and um, let's see where is it? Pinwheel, pinwheel, pinwheel. Uh, transition effect, pinwheel. And I could have no, none whatsoever. I can do um, card cube. Let's do a cube out, just so you can see a different one. Okay, so now I'm going to move them, and now you can see it looks like a little little cube turning around and again that's kind of cool stuff the other thing is is that I can get different uh, themes right now I'm running an iPhone 5 theme uh, just because it throws people off they're trying to figure out why my icons look like an iPhone theme and that's very there's a whole bunch of themes out there and you can get to them simply by going to themes and you can download new themes and changing a theme is as easy as doing that and as you can see now I have I still have my little cube, but if you see them, I have my camera icon, and I'll go back in, and I'll put on, uh, I'll put back on a theme. I actually kind of like that, that iPhone theme. Like I said, it throws people off. I like throwing people off. 
So I'll come back to my iPhone theme. I'll click on Apply. And now you can see it's changed all my icons and gives me different desktop papers and, and things of that nature. So let's just kind of go into the, the, the heart of it here. Uh, under settings, I have different things I can now do with my home screen, different things I can now do with my drawers. Um, you, you can actually even decide on your home screen how many rows, how many columns. So I actually have more real estate here now than I did before because I'm, I'm willing to take a lot less space in between the icons, so that means I can put more on there. And as you can see here with, um, for example, the Google Play, uh, Google, Google Music Play um, widget, I've resized that, and I can actually resize that again. I can make that even smaller and just have just the play button on there, or I can widen it, or I can make it taller or shorter, whatever. So, like I said, there's a lot of cool things you can do when you can resize your widgets like that. Um, behavior, you can change, uh, for example, what happens when I hit the uh, home button. I can have it take me back to a screen, or I can actually go into this little preview mode, and then I can pick which one I want. I actually like that much better sometimes. Bum, 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 bum. Um, and then you can pre-program what you want it to do when you do things like swipe up, swipe down. Uh, for example, maybe when I swipe up like that, I want it to go right into email. So for example, I come in, da, 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 behavior, let's see where it is. It's swipe up right now, it's on do nothing. Um, toggle, run an Apex, launch an app. Uh, let's go into email. That's why I love doing these for you right on the fly so you can actually see how long it takes. Okay, so boom, 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 boom. So now when I'm here and I swipe up, it goes right into email. And that's pretty cool because you just want to, okay, now boom, 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 I want to go right in. And I can set a swipe up, a swipe down, a swipe left, a swipe right. So that means there's four programs that I can get right into without having to do a whole bunch. And the other thing is, is that my, my Sammy S3 and my Nexus, even though it's running Jelly Bean, can actually have uh, the same setup because this overlays onto Jelly Bean as well. So once I get this all set up, I can make this my both of them look and act exactly alike. So when I pick up my tablet, I can just do that, and I know that it's going to go right into my email. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Um, just a ton of good stuff. Plus, you can it has a nice backup and restore. So once you get things exactly the way you want. Uh, you can actually back it up so that if you want to change it around or do something later or you, you uh, end up, uh, for example, I can back this up, go on my tablet, load Apex Launcher on that, and then do a restore it, and it'll be exactly the same way that I have it uh, set up. So this is worth taking a look at. This is Apex Launcher. It's been around for a while. Uh, I, I haven't even... It's just, it's one of those fun things that the more you go in and you, you, you keep clicking on things and you say, oh, I can do this now? Wow, that's really cool. I can go into dock, you know, how many dock pages, uh, how many icons on each dock, how much, how much of a margin, um, how does the, how do I move the dock, how does it work, do I want it to go back and forth? Uh, you can have um, sort of a little el elastic scrolling here. So if you want to go back and forth and all that kind of stuff. So it's one of those programs that's really, really cool that um, uh, the more you explore it, the more neat stuff that you find. Um, it's downloadable for free. And then obviously uh, they have they got to make a couple of bucks um, once you've downloaded and played with it and saw that you like it. Uh, you can go ahead and click on the pro version. I'm not even sure how much it is, but I mean, it's not, it wasn't that, it's well worth it to be able to have all of these features, whatever it is. It wasn't, it wasn't anything I said, nah, I went ahead and I just went ahead and did it. And like I said, so I see I have all these neat things. Boom, right in my email. Oh, I love that. Okay, because it's on a different one. That's that stupid uh, wireless thing. Boom, goes right in. Um, and that's it. So this is the Samsung S3 Guru giving two thumbs up for the Apex Launcher.